Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hot Dog Hollow, and today I'm unboxing my May 2021 Sacred Space Crate. I'm really excited to be <laughs> unboxing the box in the actual month I got it. Woohoo! So let's check it out. Sacred Space Crate. A little bit um, of markings on the thing, but let's see. Spell casting. And the May. Uh, lunar calendar, which is always really cool. Let's look at the back. A little information about the moon and the zodiac. And then we've got a candle color sheet. And it's got spaces so you can write your own correspondences. Very nice. Alright, so let's put this aside because I don't like to look at that until the last minute. Like we surprised. Dragon's Blood Incense. Delicious. Oh my god. Okay, make sure we just kind of pull some of these items out so I don't get, ooh, this is amazing. I'm going to do it a little different this time, as you can probably see. Alright, so this beautiful thing looks like a leather book of shadows. Let's open it up and get a look. Oh, it's meant to be done that way. Very cool. The magic is in you. Do you guys see that? And then the page is here. Um, I don't think that it goes flat. Let me see. Here. If I did it flat, then I might be able to bend it like this. But even then, it wouldn't really work. I think it's literally meant to be rolled. That's very interesting because um, I've never seen anything like that before. Okay, very, very cool. And, and let me tell you, it feels very nice and the pages feel really good too. So we'll come back to that. Um, this looks like some sort of writing implement. So we got our dragon's blood here. I don't know how I got a cat hair in here because the cat is not supposed to be in this room because the chicks are in this room. So you can maybe tell from the dust everywhere. Chicks make a lot of dust. It's a wand. Or is it a pencil? It's very cool. <laughs> nope, it's the wand. Okay. <laughs> Just had to check. Okay. Because it kind of looked like graphite at the end, but that's still really cool. We've got a beautiful stone here. We've got a bag of uh, chime candles. Nice, beautiful, varied colors. Very cool. Good for just about so many different uses. Never underestimate a sweet little chime candle to get your stuff done. Grounding tea post ritual. Catnip, lavender, peppermint, and tulsi, which is holy basil, and this is what it looks like. Sounds yum. Turmeric salve, yes, I love the salve. Anti-inflammatory. Oh, it looks good. It doesn't smell like anything, but it looks really cool. Turmeric has that yellow color. I'm actually growing a turmeric plant. We've got a little vervain herb. And we have got a Protection Circle Casting Salt. Let me give this a smell. Mmm, it smells divine. Alright, let's look at this. 
This month's box is about spell casting, but most importantly, how to tap into our magic by writing and most importantly, perfecting our own spells. This takes time, patience, and lots of practice, but it is all worth it when you have conjured up the perfect fail-proof spell um, that you can always go to when needed and feel confident including it in your spell book for future generations. Um, and then she goes on a little bit about that. But the custom leather spell journal. This beautiful genuine leather journal are custom designed so that they're exclusive to subscribers to this box. I chose the wording, the magic is in you, that is on the front cover so that you will always be reminded where your magic lies. I have always admired these long leather journals that roll up and stack on a shelf, so I'm excited that I was able to design one for you to use in your practice. Don't worry about the shape when you unroll the journal. Lay it flat on a table, and after a day or so, it will flatten out by itself so that it can easily write in. So that's cool. So you store it rolled up, but then when you're using it, you flatten it out, and it flattens so you can write in it. That's really, really cool. Um, so this is a journal for spell casting. Um, custom wood wand with hand sewn protection bag. Very cool. It's a very lovely wand. Um, no two are exactly the same. They're made from bamboo. Ooh. Her entire family coven pitched in this past month to help make the protection bags. So there's a lot of magic attached to it. They're velvet black bags for to hold your candle in. The spell candles were several different colors. Um, they're her favorite to use. They're still large enough to carve names or desires on, but small enough to speed up the spell. Um, the candle spell journal page, which has each of the colors so you can use. Um, very cool. Um, Vervain in a glass jar. Vervain, Vervain Aficionalis, um, protect believers against evil spells or negative energy and to purify sacred spaces such as altars, ceremonial implements, temples, and private dwellings. It has been used for centuries in love spells and a variety of potions. It can, uh, can be hung on the, in the home to protect against the weather. Very cool. Um, protection casting salt in a glass jar. It's made with lavender and salt. You can cast a circle of protection casting salt around your work spell area until you return if you have to like walk away from your spell or something. So that's really cool. Um, Larvitkite crystal. It's for the root and the third eye chakras, making a very valuable stone for your pre-spell meditation. It's very protective and grounding. It can also cleanse the subtle bodies and facilitates a strong connection with the energies of the earth. So that's very cool. All of this is, you know, always very good information. Then dragon blood incense, which I absolutely love. Um, Post-ritual grounding tea. Turmeric uh, salve for on hand for gentle treatment of joint pain and inflammation, and then the moon and the zodiac calendar. Um, very very excited. Love this box. Always excited to get it. Love the contents. I don't have anything like this, so I'm very much super excited because I do collect journals. In case you guys are new here, I do collect journals. Although let's be real, I collect a lot of stuff. Um, so this is the sacred space crate. Highly recommend this box to you. I uh, love it. I love Melissa. I love the energy she puts into it. I love the quality and the uniqueness of the items. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon.